how do we fix this concept of heedlessness and becoming people who are aware we wake up aware and we go to sleep aware how do we fix this our scholars say that the, one of the most effective ways of doing this is to stay away from living in excess staying away from excess everything in excess is bad for you too much wealth is bad for you too much sleep is bad for you too much food is bad for you food we need food we need sleep but if we are excess with regards to it the results become counterproductive sleep is productive for us when done in its in its limit and capacity if we exceed that capacity the results are counterproductive eating is good for us but if we exceed the limitations of consuming food the results are counterproductive just a couple of days ago somebody said that millions are being spent on research regarding overeating because and somebody answered i haven't verified the facts but somebody answered this is because more people are dying from obesity and overeating than from other causes wallahu a'lam i didn't authenticate or research this but this was a discussion that happened believe it or not over the dinner table <laughs> the point here is living in excess living in excess we shouldn't live in excess allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-a'raf and we should learn how islam is a way of life that even islam has revelation regarding how we eat and how much we eat subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يَا بَنِي آدَمَ خُذُوا زِينَتَكُمْ عِنْدَ كُلِّ مَسْجِدٍ وَكُلُوا وَاشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O children of Adam, addressing everybody, the believers and the disbelievers, because we know sometimes Allah Almighty says, O oh, you who believe. O oh, you who believe. Here he says, Ya Bani Adam, O oh, children of Adam, Khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. Ensure that you dress appropriately when you observe the prayer. Use the most beautiful of clothing. Don't observe salah in your pajamas. Right? Nobody goes out of the home in their pajamas. So how can you stand in front of God Almighty in your pajamas? Right? Khudu zinatakum inda kulli masjid. Masjid here, as the scholars of tafsir say, is inclusive of both the masjid like this that we're sitting in right now as well as the place of sujood masjid also refers to the place of prostration so wherever you pray ensure that you you dressed appropriately and then god almighty says wakulu washrabu and eat and drink wala tusrifu but do not be excessive innahu la yuhibbul musrifin indeed god almighty does not love the excessive and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا أَنْفَقُوا لَمْ يُسْرِفُوا وَلَمْ يَقْتُرُوا وَكَانَ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ قَوَامًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Furqan, He praises the Ibadur Rahman. He praises the servants of the Most Merciful. He praises His servants. And then He goes on to mention their qualities. And from their qualities, He says subhanahu wa ta'ala that they are those that when they spend, they are not excess, excessive in their spending. Nor are they stingy. They are right in the middle. They spend from their extra. They spend whilst their families are fed and looked after. It. And in the same breath, they're not stingy. They don't pride themselves from being people who never stick their hands in their pockets to take out a dime for the impoverished. They don't pride themselves on that. The point to note here from this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us against being a nation that pride themselves on being excessive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about being a miser and about being excessive again in another ayah, in Surah Al-Isra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
ولا تجعل يدك مغلولة إلى عنقك ولا تبسطها كل البسط فتقعد ملوما محسورا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and let your hand not be tied to your neck like a miser you keep your hands far away from your pockets nor stretch it forth to its utmost reach like an excessive spender shopaholic right there's a term now shopaholic Allah says, do not keep your hands far away from your pockets, strangling your neck. And in retrospect, do not stretch it out too far, where you become an excessive spender, so that you become blameworthy and in severe poverty. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us against being people of excess. So to cure the sickness of heedlessness, become people who don't overdo anything. Don't speak too much. Don't socialize too much, don't eat too much, don't drink too much, don't work too much. When we work too much, how does it make us? We start hating the work that we do. And subhanAllah, if we look at the Sharia, the objectives of the Sharia, Imam al-Shatibi, rahimahullah, in his amazing, amazing book known as Al-Muwafaqat, it's a book in Usul al-Fiqh, he says that the Sharia prescribed five times daily salah and fasting the month of Ramadan and not every month of the year and not every day of the week and not more than five times daily salah. Why? Because if it becomes too much for the believer, it becomes something known as excess. When it becomes known as excess, it becomes something disliked to him. It has counterproductive results on his or her heart. La ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also legislated the Sharia with balance. With balance. So take this lesson, O servants of Allah. Take this lesson. Don't be excessive. 